or is it just pretty much the same routine? Uh, a little bit different this year. Um, kind of uh, took a look at how things went last year, which um, weren't quite what I wanted or probably anybody wanted. And um, I think I got a little bit better plan uh, going into this year that, uh, um, like most guys, are pretty excited to see how it pans out. Do you have a feeling for what, what, what was different last year from 16 for you? Uh, the production um, was obviously much less, but uh, I think the mindset was probably a little cluttered, and I think that that's something that's um, getting to be a lot more prevalent in the game. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, numbers flying around and angles and things of that nature that really detract from uh, the goal of squaring up the ball. So it might be a little bit more of a less is, less is more approach this year in, in a way. Mark, was it challenging DHing as much as you did last year compared to the past where it was a little more sporadic? No, I don't think so. It's I've played long enough. I can um, I can separate those two. Um, some years are just harder than others, and I think you always hope if you don't get off to a good start that you can right the ship in the second half. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I think that was where I was at last year. I was always hoping for a nice surge and um, have everything shape up where. I wanted it and where everybody else probably wanted it too, but um, at the end it just it fell short of that. When you look at what you know the Yankees have done, what the Red Sox probably are going to do, where you guys finished, and how the offseason's gone here so far, are there any concerns and patience, or you just kind of learn to just wait and see how things look on opening day? Um, I'm sure there's lots of opinions on um, not only how we stack up, but how other people stack up. but. You know, our job and my job is to take care of business on the field. Um, I've tried to quit playing GM a long time ago. It does no good on, on my end, and uh, there's much more important things for me to worry about than um, the state of our roster or where we're going or what we're doing. Uh, I take care of my job, and we're going to be you know, better because of that. You talked just now about how during the season you're hoping you know a surge will come, and I know that Chris Davis was kind of in that same boat last year. What does an off-season reset do mentally, physically, when you spend so long waiting for that and you know it never comes? It does wonders. Uh, I mean, it is a grind, and it at the time, it, you know, especially a poor season, it, it seems like it lasts forever. Um, but once the off-season rolls around, it's it's kind of an automatic reset in a lot of ways. Um, it's a fresh start, and it's um, you know you kind of look forward to it if you're coming off a year that maybe um, wasn't quite as good. Does the continuity help? I mean, even last year you were still you know, a free agent and getting signed just about this time. Does it help knowing you were going to be here and haven't been dealing with a trade or any talk like that? Yeah, it, it gives a little bit more breathing room. A lot of a lot of times, you know, especially if you're um, a free agent or oh, there's a lot of uncertainty there. Um, that can be a distraction in itself, but um, there was a lot more peace of mind, I think, this offseason. Mark, is there, when you come into the offseason after last year, is there much reviewing, or are you looking straight forward, you know what you've got to do, you know what you do best in getting back to it? I think you need to reflect a little bit, but sometimes, the, uh, especially when you're able to kind of separate yourself, the answers are pretty obvious. Um, I think in this case, I, I think I touched on it a little bit earlier, but uh, probably just too distracted last year um, with a lot of different numbers, analytics, launch angles, things like that. So I think the approach this year is going to be getting back to getting a good pitch and, and squaring it up.